on this channel. I'll be talking about whatever I fucking want. Well, if you haven't heard, on October 18th, this came on Twitch. And, you know, every app, social media app, like Instagram, Facebook, have uh, their own stories. Twitter used to have one for a short period of time and then they got rid of it because it wasn't the core foundation of what Twitter actually is. And people hated it so much. For me, I didn't mind. But for Twitch, if you use the Twitch app whatsoever, they brought in a new feature called Twitch Stories. And every streamer I follow on Twitch over the past year, the past two years, have uh, their own stories. And they're all shocked by it that Twitch randomly released this on Wednesday. Here's another one of Twitch stories from one of my favorite streamers that I follow on Twitch for a long time, Domadon who says this is actually good for the platform's engagement. I can't lie to you, it is. As a Twitch viewer who's been regularly using the Twitch app since this year in February, that is what was missing from Twitch. They needed to bring something that is way more interactive. Here's Jack the Buzz with his cat. Pretty cool. I can see that the cat is chilling on his screen. Then Jack Manifold TV says, I'm just trying to poop, man. What is this? Jack, it's a Twitch story. And I think Cody is getting the hang of it already because his story is captioned, We Live Gang. Uh, by the way, Cody is Captain Wills on Twitch. Just thought you should know that. And this is a good time for the Game Awards to utilize the Twitch stories as well, because they just announced that they're going to be live streaming December 7th on Twitch, which is good because I happen to love the Game Awards, and I've been watching it since 2014. Here I have a screenshot of Agent 00, looking confused, wondering what the fuck is a Twitch story. Don't fucking tell me you forgot what an Instagram story is as well. Matt Petito, who's originally one of the Twitch streamers I follow after I followed him on Twitch two years ago, well, three years ago now, says, what is this? Matt, it's a, it, it's a Twitch story. What do you mean, what is this? Another Twitch streamer that I watch is Alex Redefined, who said, Chat, what is this? Alex, do you know what an Instagram story is? Because that's what this is on Twitch. Even Twitch itself says, Running late to stream. Because bird. Uh, I mean, it's nice to, to look at the windows every once in a while. Max GG's 
is the number Twitch. It's an is the number Twitch streamer I watched who says, "Type one in my chat if you agree with Ainsley." Let's see if this works. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, right. Take one in chat. Blah blah blah. What? And this will gotta be trolling. On the very next day, October 19th, I went back on the Twitch app because, you know, which stories are addicting. And hey, Keone says this. Why the fuck does Twitch have stories now? Because it's interactive. Durr. Like, what else do you think it means? Kai Sinat, who was live when I screen recorded who screenshot this, says, Stream today at 8 p.m. East Sharp. Why the fuck Twitch got stories? It's not a surprise to me as to why every motherfucker has to be oblivious as to what's going on around their surroundings because they tend to not keep themselves up to date as to what Twitch is doing and why they did it. So I would have expected anyone to look at social media to see if Twitch said anything. But nobody ever does because they're too busy and in their own world. Well, this guy looks, looks confused. Can you guess who he is? Well, he's a Twitch streamer named John A. Who says, hey, Twitch stories. It's hilarious to me that Every Twitch streamer that I follow on Twitch has to be oblivious. But you know, here's what I genuinely think about Twitch stories. I think it's a game changer for Twitch. I know that some people in the commentary community had to complain about Twitch all the time when it comes to them not having like enough tools or anything of the sorts that can be keeping the viewers here on this site or at least on this app but I think Twitch Stories is the key here because it got me hooked right away and I can see what my Twitch streamers are doing when they're gonna actually go live on Twitch instead of having to go to Instagram Stories which is what I would normally do anyway I know that Moist Critical said in one of his videos that he's not a big fan of the Twitch app, but I am because I am a Twitch viewer. And I'm happy to see that Twitch is finally doing something about it to keep viewers hooked and staying on the app. So I hope it goes well for years to come. Thank you.